Let's continue our conversation with the heart. Now we talked recently about the right coronary artery and a question that came up with it is why do we see bradycardia in some inferior MIs or when the right coronary artery is affected? Well, the truth of the matter is, is because of the location and what's feeding the heart. So up here in this right portion of the heart, we have the sinoatrial node and that sinoatrial node is the pacemaker of the heart. What happens sometimes if that right coronary artery is occluded high enough that's including the branch that reaches the SA node, then we potentially could have electrical impulse problems that causes bradycardia in this heart. So that's the main reason why in inferior MIs, sometimes we do see bradycardia. It's because the branch of that right coronary artery is blocked high enough that it's affecting the SA node's blood supply. Do you love our short videos and you're worried that you're going to miss some of them? Well, don't worry about that because we're going to send them straight to your email. Email. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're going to send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine. Hit the link in our bio and sign up right now.